where the fit all grade is uh, 12. Not 12. Uh, yes, curves and towers. Uh, do I take it that that is the weighted average of all of this? That is the arithmetical definition? Because you're not using that definition, weighted average. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. If we, if, let's say if all of the installation targets are achieved, 100 to 20 to 15 to 16, uh, at 830 total, and then the fit rate is 17.95, so your weighted average will be 2.3, 3.7, and we add, this is the summation of the weighted average of each of uh, in the technologies in its terms and towers. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So, arithmetically, my interpretation is correct, weighted average. In other words, if we increase, for example, if we restructure the installation targets, then we will have changes in the weighted average. Now, for example, if wind is, uh, let's say, increased to 300, Biomass is increased to 300, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. or maybe an across-the-board increase for all of the technologies. Let's say 50 percent. 50 percent of 12 is uh, six. So the weighted average, the fit all, will be 18 cents. So that is, that's correct. Yes, so sure. that is uh, what is going to be added to the five pesos. That is the average cost right now per kilowatt hour. Oh, yes. That's a premium then. That's yeah. a premium. Yeah, premium. On top of the five pesos. Yes. So that's correct. So if, if we're talking of adding 80 centavos to, or let's say even, uh, let's say 20 centavos over uh, five pesos, uh, we're talking of uh, a, a small uh, uh, percentage of the total in 12 is what percent of uh, five pesos? So sometimes it's best, uh, it's better to look at it in relative terms. Two, three percent. Two percent. Two percent. Two percent. Two percent. So if we make that, uh, if we make that uh, instead of 12, if we make that 18, it will be 3% from 2%, it goes up to 3%. That is the arithmetical uh, uh, escalation. Yes, the question now is 3% uh, tolerable. Considering the other advantages of uh, uh, it's uh, going to be in support of our climate change policy, it will reduce carbon emission, there will be no less risk of a Fukushima, for example, etc., uh, etc. Et so all of that taken, uh, it, will, it will now be up to, uh, let's say, the oppositors and the petitioners and the public to decide what is in the best public interest. Yes, Your Honor. Now, my question now is this. Why are we very conservative in so far as solar is concerned? Because of all the renewables, if you look at uh, the examples in Europe, which has less sun than the Philippines, Solar is uh, their number one technology as far as renewables are concerned because it is unlimited. Uh, Germany, for example, has about 20,000 megawatts already of solar. And uh, while well, here our target is only 100, I understand we have 50 times more sun than Germany. And New Jersey is uh, number three already or number two in the United States. It's again another winter uh, uh, where the, harsh, the, the winter is very harsh. New Jersey the number two to number two, number three to California. In other words, in Pennsylvania and also New York. New York is very much into solar. But how come our target is only 100? It's minuscule compared to the potential that we have for solar. How many kilowatts congressman do they have in, in East Coast? <coughs> Okay. No, in Germany, 20,000 megawatts. That's oh. 20 gigs. Mr. I, I think you have to, I, um, just for, again, our understanding, what we, what, how were the installation targets identified or said? Uh, 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 what were the factors? Because uh, if, if I'm going to understand Congressman Goyle's question, it, is, it zeroes in in terms of how far the insulation targets in mind. I think you have to 
uh, enlighten us on that. Uh, Madam Chair, if I may add also, there are already existing solar plants <coughs> using panels that can go as high as 40 megawatts, 70 megawatts, that are connected to the grid. So how come ours is only 100? Because if we spread out the 100 over the archipelago, that would translate to just a minuscule amount of solar per province, one, two, maybe three uh, megawatts, which is, to me, very conservative. The same is true with respect to wind. Uh, hydro is a finite uh, resources. Ocean is still, uh, I can understand why your target is only 10 for ocean, but I cannot understand why solar is less than wind with the worldwide uh, experience. Is solar is bigger than wind in the country? So, let's can we allow Mr. Matangwa to answer the question? Yes, I'm, I'm just uh, rephrasing yes, my question so that yes, uh, we can time. better provide the answer. Uh, uh, Mr. Just also an interpretation. Okay. 